Are you tired of being bombarded with ads when using your phone? Don't worry, we all are. The good news is that some great free ad blockers help you reclaim your sanity. But with so many free plans, it can feel like a waste of time to select the ones that work. Try to do it yourself and you'll probably give up. To save you all that time and frustration, we've tested many free ad blockers and picked out the four best. Today, we'll show you how each one works, so you can decide if it's right for you. Let's get started. First up is AdGuard. It's an ad blocking tool that not only blocks annoying ads, but also protects your privacy in several ways. One of the main reasons we chose to look into AdGuard is how well it combines ad blocking with privacy protection. It's a free app with enough features to block ads across browsers and apps, which makes your Android experience smoother and less intrusive. Getting AdGuard set up on your Android device is relatively simple. However, it's important to note that you won't find it on the Google Play Store. Due to Google's policy on ad blockers, you'll need to download AdGuard directly from its official website. Once you've downloaded the app, installation is straightforward. You'll be guided through the setup process, and within a few taps, you can start blocking ads. You won't have any trouble navigating through the main dashboard if you're not particularly tech-savvy because it's designed that way. The app offers a series of core features right on the home screen, including ad blocking, tracking protection, annoyance blocking, DNS protection, and VPN integration. But if you opt for the premium version, even without the premium upgrade, the free version is packed with valuable tools. AdGuard is an ad blocking tool that covers not only your browser, but also the apps you use. So, whether you're browsing a content-heavy website or using a free mobile app that relies on ads, AdGuard ensures that those pop-ups, banners, and video ads are blocked. For example, when you're using a free game or browsing a news site, you'll notice that the pages load faster and the clutter is significantly reduced. These days, it's not just about blocking ads. Many websites and apps track your online activities, collecting data like your browsing habits, location, and device information. AdGuard's tracking protection feature steps in to block these trackers, which helps to safeguard your privacy. This feature is particularly useful if you're concerned about your personal data being collected without your consent. Also, beyond traditional ads, you're often bombarded by things like cookie consent pop-ups or prompts to download mobile apps. These can be just as disruptive as ads, but AdGuard's annoyance blocking feature handles them effectively. If you find these prompts interfering with your browsing, this feature can help make your experience more effortless. All right, this feature may sound technical, but it's actually quite practical. AdGuard allows you to choose a custom DNS server, which can provide an additional layer of privacy and security. By doing so, you prevent your internet service provider, ISP, from tracking your online activities. This is particularly valuable if you want to ensure that your DNS queries, essentially the websites you visit, aren't being monitored by third parties. Like any app, AdGuard isn't without its limitations. While the free version does a great job of blocking ads in browsers like Chrome, if you want to block ads within all your apps, you'll need to upgrade to the premium version. The free version is limited to browser-based ad blocking, which might not be sufficient if you're looking for a more flexible solution that covers apps like YouTube or certain games. For users who are primarily looking to block in-app ads, this could be a drawback. Additionally, AdGuard's premium features, such as its VPN integration and extended protection across apps, require a subscription. While this is fairly common among ad blockers, it's something to keep in mind if you're trying to avoid paying for software. One of the useful tips we've found while using AdGuard is the ability to whitelist certain websites. If there are sites you trust or want to support, especially those that rely on ad revenue, you can easily add them to your allow list. This ensures that ads continue to appear on these specific websites while being blocked elsewhere. It's a great way to support content creators while still avoiding ads in general. Next up is AdLock, which could be another great option for you. What sets AdLock apart is its ability to block ads not just in browsers, but across your entire device, including apps and games, which gives you a more natural and ad-free experience. We chose AdLock because it has a better way to block ads than other browsers. To get started with AdLock, you won't find it on the Google Play Store as the same as AdGuard, but don't worry. You can easily download it similarly from the official AdLock website. After downloading the APK file, you'll need to install it manually on your device, which only takes a couple of minutes. Once you have the app installed, 
Setting it up is quick and easy. You'll be greeted with a clean and user-friendly interface. The home screen presents all of the most important features, including ad blocking, security, and privacy settings, which are easily accessible. From here, you can start blocking ads across your apps, games, and web browsers with just a few taps. AdLock comes packed with several features designed to enhance your online experience, focusing on ad blocking, security, and privacy. Here's a breakdown of how these features work and how they could benefit you. Unlike some ad blockers that are limited to your web browser, AdLock works across your entire Android device. This means it blocks ads not only in browsers, but also in apps, games, and even streaming services. Whether you're using a free gaming app or streaming content, AdLock ensures that intrusive banners, pop-ups, and video ads are blocked. This feature is particularly useful if you're someone who enjoys free-to-play games, where ads can be quite frequent and distracting. One feature that stands out with AdLock is its ability to help you save both mobile data and battery life. Since ads are often heavy on data, AdLock cuts down on your usage by blocking them, which also means your device doesn't need to load those additional resources. By blocking autoplay videos and large banners, you'll notice that your apps run more efficiently and you can extend your phone's battery life as a result. Also, one of the convenient aspects of AdLock is that it doesn't require you to root your Android device. For those unfamiliar, rooting your device gives you full control over the operating system, but comes with risk including voiding your warranty or exposing your device to security vulnerabilities. With AdLock, there's no need to go through that process, so you can enjoy system-wide ad blocking without compromising your device's security or warranty. Like any software, AdLock isn't without its limitations. A minor issue is that while AdLock does a great job blocking most ads, it doesn't always work with native YouTube ads. This is something many users look for in an ad blocker. But unfortunately, blocking ads within the official YouTube app remains a challenge for most ad blockers, including AdLock. However, you can still block YouTube ads if you watch videos through your browser instead of the app. To get the most out of AdLock, here's a helpful tip. To keep an eye on how much data you're saving, AdLock provides insights into how much data it has saved you by blocking ads, which can be a useful metric if you're on a limited mobile data plan. This is one of the less obvious benefits of using AdLock but it can make a noticeable difference over time, especially if you use data-heavy apps. Upcoming is Addaway, which is a free open-source ad blocker. It offers flexibility and customization for those who like to fine-tune their experience. However, it's not for everyone, as it requires a rooted Android device to unlock its full potential. We chose to take a closer look at Addaway because it stands out from the usual ad blockers, particularly for its open source nature and deep customization options. Getting Addaway set up on your Android device is a bit more involved compared to typical ad blockers. Because it requires root access to function at its best, you'll need to ensure your device is rooted before you can fully take advantage of what Addaway offers. Rooting your device means gaining administrator-level access to your Android operating system, which allows apps like Addaway to modify system files to block ads effectively. This process can seem a bit technical, but there are plenty of guides online to help you through it. If rooting your device sounds like more trouble than it's worth, Attaway does offer a VPN-based option that doesn't require root access, but it's not as effective as the full version. Once your device is ready, installing Attaway is straightforward. Since it's not available on the Google Play Store, you'll need to download it from F-Droid. Once installed, Attaway provides a simple interface that lets you quickly configure your ad blocking preferences. It works by modifying your device's host files and redirecting known ad domains to an invalid address, which effectively prevents ads from loading across your system. Attaway is packed with features that make it an advanced tool for blocking ads, but it also provides control and transparency that's hard to find in other ad blockers. Here's what makes Attaway a great option for advanced users. Unlike most ad blockers that rely on filters within apps or browsers, Attaway blocks ads at the host level. This means it intercepts requests to ad serving domains before they even reach your device, which makes it incredibly effective at stopping ads across apps, websites, and games. This method can improve your device's performance as well, since it prevents ad content from ever being downloaded. One of the major benefits of Attaway is that it's open source. This means anyone can view or modify the code which provides transparency that commercial ad blockers simply can't offer. If you're concerned about privacy or want to be sure your ad blocker isn't doing anything suspicious in the background, the open source nature of Attaway gives you peace of mind. Also, Attaway allows you to add or modify host files 
based on your preferences. You can download pre-made lists of ad-serving domains or even create your own, which gives you complete control over which ads are blocked and which are allowed. This is perfect if you want to block specific types of ads or allow ads on certain sites to support them. All right, Adaway comes with the flexibility to whitelist apps or websites where you want ads to show up. This can be useful if you want to support creators or websites you frequently visit. Conversely, you can add more hosts to your blacklist, further tightening control over what gets blocked. This customization ensures that you get the exact experience you're looking for. One of the best tips for getting the most out of Adaway is to explore the different host files that are available. There are many lists online that you can add to Adaway, depending on what type of ads or trackers you want to block. For example, you can find lists specifically for blocking malware, spyware, or even region-specific ad domains. The ability to customize this lets you fine-tune your ad blocking experience. Another useful trick is to regularly update your host files. Adaway doesn't automatically update them, so you'll want to make it a habit to refresh your list every so often to ensure you're blocking the latest ad domains. This keeps your system protected from new types of ads and trackers that are constantly being developed. If you're concerned about certain apps breaking because they rely on ad services, you can always whitelist those apps in Adaway's settings. This ensures they continue to function properly while still blocking ads elsewhere. Lastly, if you're looking for a simple yet effective way to block ads across your Android device without rooting it, DNS66 might be just what you need. It uses a local VPN to block ads, which makes it a great option for users who want to block ads in apps and browsers without any complicated setup. Beginning with DNS66, it is necessary to download it from FDroid, an alternative app store that provides open source applications. The installation process is quick and the app is ready to use right after. Once you launch the app, you'll notice the interface is quite basic, which is actually one of its strengths. You won't need to spend much time figuring things out. The app uses a local VPN to route traffic through specific DNS servers, which filter out requests to ads domains before they can load. All you need to do is configure the DNS servers and host files, and DNS66 will take care of the rest, blocking ads system-wide. While DNS66 might look simple on the surface, it offers some useful features that make it a great ad blocking tool for Android users. Let's break down its key features and how they can benefit you. One of the standout features of DNS66 is that it doesn't require root access to block ads like Adaway. This makes it a perfect option for users who want to avoid the complexity or risks of rooting their devices. DNS66 uses a local VPN to filter traffic at the DNS level, effectively blocking ads in apps, browsers, and games. This method is easy to use and doesn't require much configuration, which makes it accessible for anyone looking for a simple solution. Another benefit of DNS66 is how simple it is. Because it only blocks ads at the DNS level, it consumes very little battery power and system resources compared to other other ad blockers. You won't notice any significant slowdowns or battery drains while it's running in the background. This makes it a great choice for users who want to block ads without compromising their device's performance. Also, this app works by blocking known ad domains through the use of host files. These files contain lists of domains that serve ads or track users. You can either use the preloaded host files that come with the app, or you can add custom ones based on your preferences. This feature gives you control over which ads or tracking services are blocked, helping you create a personalized ad-free experience. Of course, DNS66 allows you to choose from different DNS servers, which gives you control over how your traffic is routed. You can use default servers, or if you're concerned about privacy, you can choose from secure options like Cloudflare or OpenDNS. These servers help block ads and provide an added layer of privacy by keeping your browsing history away from your internet service provider, ISP. While DNS66 is a great tool, it does come with a few limitations that are worth considering. The most obvious downside is that it doesn't block YouTube ads. Like most ad blockers that operate at the DNS level, DNS66 struggles to block ads embedded within the YouTube app. If blocking YouTube ads is a top priority for you, you might need to look for alternative solutions. Another drawback is that DNS66 doesn't offer automatic updates for its host's files. This means you'll need to manually refresh or update them from time to time to ensure that new ad domains are being blocked. It's not a deal breaker, but if you prefer a more hands-off approach, this might be something to keep in mind. One tip for getting the most out of DNS66 is to explore the available host's files. By default, 
DNS66 uses a standard set of hosts files that block most common ad domains, but you can customize these to your liking. There are several hosts files available online, focusing on specific types of ads or privacy concerns. For instance, if you want to block not only ads but also malicious sites or trackers, you can add a more comprehensive hosts file. Another important trick is to refresh your hosts files regularly. Since DNS66 doesn't automatically update them, it's a good habit to manually check for updates every now and then. This will ensure that your device stays protected against new ad domains that pop up over time. Lastly, keep in mind that DNS66 can block more than just ads. By carefully selecting your DNS servers and hosts files, you can also block trackers, malware, and other potentially harmful content. So those are our takes on the best free ad blockers, each with its unique benefits and features. We hope this video gives you a good idea of the possibilities and helps you make the right choice for your needs. Let us know if you have any further questions or would like to share your thoughts in the comments below.